What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I have a pretty cool trick for you. It's basically how to throw clothes on yourself and how to take them off. Not naked. For example, I have this jacket right here, and to be honest I don't want to go all the way around and put it on, so all I'm going to do is... Okay, pretty simple. That's how you put it on. Um, taking it off, well, again I don't really want to do all that stuff. So I'll just go like this. Ooh, pretty hot in there. That's it. That's how you do the effect. But anyway, I'll show you how to combine it. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and on the left is actually the edited version of what you just watched. And here is the raw footage. Now what I'm actually going to do for you is play through the raw footage because during the raw footage I talk to you how it is all done. So once that's done, I'll show you how to put it together. For example, I have this jacket right here, and to be honest, I don't want to go all the way around and put it on, so all I'm going to do is... Okay, you have to put it on anyway. <laughs> you also want to try and stay still when you do this, so you don't move too much. But anyway, once it's on, then you just go... Okay, pretty simple. That's how you put it on. Um, taking it off, well, again, I don't really want to do all that stuff. So I'll just go like this. Okay, so uh, don't rip your clothes when you do that part. <sighs> Hasn't happened to me yet, but you know, just a friendly reminder. Okay, so then once you're at this part, that's when you can flip this back over and just pretend and go back to normal. Pretty hot in there. That's it. That's how you do the effect. But anyway, I'll show you how to combine it. Okay, so pretty simple. Now let's all all we need to do is trim to the part where I want to put the coat on. So you can see that's all I done. I literally got the jacket and slammed it against my chest. And then once you get to this point, just press S on your keyboard to split it. So this is your first part. Then you go across on your timeline to the part after you've put it on so yes you do put it on and then this next part I like to do it this way just uh, make some movement as if you got thrown back or something and the coat comes on so you can see right now all I do is that and I like going halfway through where there's already some movement so I'm not gonna be still like this and then just move so I'm gonna look for the point where I'm already moving for example which is right here and I'm gonna drag this back now I'll play it through you can see it's not 100% clean and that's due to the first one here we just need to trim that first part down and as soon as we make contact right there trim it down and then much more cleaner super simple so then for taking it off uh, there was a mistake that I made which I'm sure you will pick up in the comments for those that don't even watch to this point are gonna say it anyway um, and it's when I take the jacket off now the mistake I done it wasn't this part So that's what you do if it is a jacket just pull it off if it's a hoodie or something without a zipper Just literally pull it as if you're gonna pull it off, but be careful. Don't rip your clothing um, So I'll play it through So there we go press s on my keyboard to split that and then of course once again you take it off as normal because there's no magic just yet um, but then you find the part where you get to this point, you just hold it against your chest and literally throw it off. Now, this is the mistake I done. I threw it to the side and that's why it didn't look as clean. And you're probably thinking, why are you putting this in the video? Of course, I want to put it in the video because people learn from mistakes and this is a mistake I made and this is a mistake you can learn from as well. Don't throw your jacket off to the side or whatever you're wearing. The reason I say that is because it doesn't look as clean. Throw it out in front of you. If the camera's in the way, um, if it's on a tripod and you've got more space, it's going to work better. If not, just throw it up in the air or something or throw it down towards the floor as long as it's in frame. Don't throw it to the side. Anyway, so then you get to the point again once you, there is movement on the jacket. So you can see right here I have movement. And I'm going to trim this down and I'll just play this through. So I'll just go like this. So you can see it's like a pause there and that's not what we want so as soon as I literally pull it off I'm gonna trim it down 
and there we go now that's the cleanest I can make it and the reason for that is again because I threw it to the side if you throw it straight ahead it makes it look a lot simpler and you can see the big thing that gives it away here number one my head's up here number two my head is down so you have to be aware of these things and again I'm keeping this in the video just to show you that mistakes can happen and how you can improve on it keep everything still and don't do what I done throw it straight and also keep your head straight but I'll play through what I've just created for you again as you can see that's number one and number two but that is it that is how you can create the effect it is super simple super quick and definitely have a lot of fun with this now there's actually one last tip I want to add to this thing and it's actually going to be creating some movement on your camera. The reason I'm saying to add this is just so it gives off a more realistic vibe. Of course it's not possible however it just looks a lot better. So for those that have Vegas Pro 16 and for those that have Sapphire plugins then I recommend you come down and look for S underscore shake. So you can see it's right here and now I already have uh, something called text float which is the one I'm going to be using and all I'm going to do is drag and drop it onto the track. Now bear in mind anything else you have on the track will also have this shake. So I recommend putting it on a separate track or putting them on individually one by one. Completely up to you. Now you can pause the video very quickly. These are the settings I have set up for this type of um, shake. You can copy them completely up to you. Now I'll just play this through for you and this is what we get. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and So you can see it just makes a subtle shake around the edges and I'll just play it and mute the audio. So you can see it just makes like looks like a handheld camera and just makes it look a bit more realistic. <laughs> 